Hi everyone, in this video we will go through topic related to trigonometry where we will talk about compound angles, multiple angles, submultiple angles and transformation formulae. Now in this particular part, in this particular video we will go through compound angles and few problems. So first of all, what is trigonometry all about? Trigonometry deals with right angle triangles, right? A right angle triangle is a triangle in which one of the angles is 90 degree, this one. So trigonometry deals with right angle triangles. Now what is a compound angle? Algebraic sum of two or more angles. So, if we have two angles, say A and B, sum of these two angles is what we call as compound angle. Or subtraction of these two angles is also called as compound angle. Multiple angle is, you have something like 2 times of angle A, 3 times of angle A, 5 times of angle A, right? This is this is a multiple angle. Submultiple angle is nothing but A by 2, A by 3, A by 4. Basically, it's a fraction where A is an angle. So, there are multiple formulas related to compound angles and multiple angles. Before we get into compound angles formulae, let's refresh our basics on trigonometric functions of angles. You don't have to remember every row, every column. All you have to remember is the first row, that is sign values. Sign 0, sign 30, sign 45, sign 60, sign 90. We don't have to remember everything, but we will need all of these values in our trigonometric calculations. You write the sign values in the reverse direction for cos. In the reverse direction. So, you start with 1, then root 3 by 2, then 1 by root 2, then half and then 0. Similarly, for tan theta, tan theta is nothing but sin theta by cos theta, right? Tan theta is sin theta by cos theta. So, you take sin theta value, divide by cos theta value, you will get tan theta. So, 0 by 1 is 0, then half by root 3 by 2 is 1 by root 3, 1 by root 2 by 1 by root 2 is 1, root 3 by 2 by half is root 3, 1 by 0 is undefined. You cannot have 0 in the denominator. It becomes an undefined number. For cosec theta, cosec theta is 1 by sin theta, right? Cosec theta is 1 by sin theta. So, you take the sin theta values, take 1 by sin theta and then you will get cosec theta values. For secant theta, it will be 1 by cos theta. So, you have the cos theta values. Find 1 by cos theta values. So, 1 by 1, 1 by root 3 by 2, which becomes 2 by root 3, right? So, this is how we get secant theta values. Cot theta is nothing but cos theta by sin theta. Reverse of tan theta. Tan theta is sin theta by cos theta. Cot theta is cos theta by sin theta. So, it is the reverse of this. So, what we can do is we can reverse cos and sin values and you will get cot values. Or also cot theta is 1 by tan theta. So, take the tan theta values right, and put 1 by tan theta. So, you will get here 1 by 0. So, it becomes undefined. 1 by root 3. So, just reverse it. You will get root 3. 1. Reverse this. So, when you take a reciprocal of this, you will get 1 by root 3 and this is undefined. Now, let us go through compound angle formulas. We can derive each of these formulas, right? There is derivation for each of these formulas. But in this video, we will not go through derivations. In this video, we will just go through the formulas and solve few problems. So, first one is, see these are all compound angles. A plus B, A minus B, all these are compound angles because there is two sets of angles. Angle A and angle B and we are trying to add them or we are trying to subtract them. Sine of A plus B is sin A cos B and cos A sin B with plus in between. So, we will have to remember this using some shortcuts. So, for sin A plus B, you will have plus in between and it will be sin A cos B cos A sin B. Sin A cos B and cos A sin B. Right? Now, what is sin A minus B? Sin A minus B, it will be the same thing as this. Both of these are same except that you have minus sign here. So, sin A minus B will have minus sign. Sin A plus B will have plus sign. Now, what is cos A plus B? Cos A plus B would be, you will have cos values on one side, sin values on other side. Cos A, cos B, sin A, sin B, but the sin would be opposite. Sin would be opposite. So, here it is A plus B, we will have minus here. Now, what is cos A minus B? Cos A minus B is same as A plus B. Both of these are same. Sin gets reversed. Here we have minus, here we have plus. Now, what is tan A plus B? Tan A plus B is tan A plus tan B by 1 minus tan A tan B. And tan A minus B is the signs get reversed. Here it is plus, it will become minus. Here it is minus, it will become plus. So, it is very important to remember all of these uh, formulas. We will have to remember all of these different trigonometric functions, sin, cos, tan. It is enough if you remember one of the values that is sin values and these compound angle formulas. Everything around trigonometry is about formulas. So, we will have to memorize these formulas. Now, let us take one problem where we have to obtain the values of trigonometric functions of 75 degree, 15 degree 
and 105 degree and also we need to prove these following expressions right now trigonometric functions so we can take sin cos and tan we can find out sin cos tan values for 75 15 and 105 let's take 75 degree first so let's find sin 75 how do we find sin 75 we can't remember all of these values right like 75 80 85 all of this we can't remember we will have to use this particular chart we will have to use this particular values and find out the value of 75 degrees so what we will do we'll take the known angles right and try to get a compound angle so you can take 45 and 30 you can take 45 and 30 because 45 plus 30 is 75 so you can split 75 as 45 and 30 and then using the compound angle formula that is sin a plus b sin a plus b formula we'll use and then we will substitute the values so sin a plus b is sin a cos b and cos a sin b that is sin 45 cos 30 cos 45 sin 30 we substitute the values and then we'll get root 3 plus 1 by 2 root 2 now similarly let's find cos 75 cos 75 also you can split it as 45 and 30 so you will get then you'll have to use cos a plus b formula cos a plus b is cos a cos b minus sin a sin b so it is easy to remember cos formulas because it's cos on one side and sine on one side with the opposite sign in between right here you have plus here it should be minus so we'll substitute cos 45 cos 30 sin 45 sin 30 values and you'll get root 3 minus 1 by 2 root 2 similarly tan 75 tan 75 again we will have to write as tan 45 plus 30 then we'll have to use tan a plus b formula what is tan a plus b so tan a plus b formula is tan a plus tan b by 1 minus tan a into tan b so now we'll substitute all the 45 tan 45 tan 30 values and you'll get root 3 plus 1 by root 3 minus 1 now there is another way to verify also right what is tan tan theta tan theta is sin theta by cos theta tan theta is sin theta by cos theta tan 75 would be sin 75 by cos 75 now we have already obtained sin 75 value this one and we also have cos 75 right just substitute here and you'll get tan 75 you will get the same answer same answer but we shouldn't use this approach we'll have to use this approach because we'll have to derive the value of tan 75 using compound angle formulae don't use this this is only for verification let's find values for 15 degrees sin 15 we'll have to use the known angles we'll have to use 30 60 90 0 one of these we'll have to use so 45 minus 30 we can use right 45 minus 30 is 15 degrees so now we'll have to use sin a minus b formula which is sin a cos b minus cos a sin b right the sign is the same minus minus sin a cos b cos a sin b now we'll substitute the values you'll get root 3 minus 1 by 2 root 2 now similarly we'll find cos 15 cos 15 is cos 45 minus 30 so cos a minus b cos a minus b formula we'll have to use which is cos a cos b plus sin a sin b notice the sign is reverse here you have minus here you have plus and one side it is cos the other side it is sin so remember this for cos a minus b and then substitute all the values you'll get root 3 plus 1 by 2 root 2 now tan 15 tan 15 would be you'll have to use this formula tan a minus tan b by 1 plus tan a tan b right substitute tan 45 tan 30 values and you'll get the answer alternatively to verify you can get tan 15 as sin 15 by cos 15 sin 15 by cos 15 so we've already got sin 15 value cos 15 value right use both of these values and then you'll get the same answer same answer as you got using the form compound angle formula now let's prove let's prove that tan 75 plus cot 75 is 4 right we need to prove this so we got tan 75 value we got cot 75 value now we'll just simplify this we'll just simplify this we'll have to take lcm here right lcm root 3 minus 1 and root 3 plus 1 because we have to make a con common denominator right we should get a common denominator so the lcm for this is root 3 minus 1 into root 3 plus 1 now we'll have to take this first numerator and multiply with root 3 plus 1 why root 3 plus 1 because already there is root 3 minus 1 here if you multiply with the root 3 plus 1 then you will get this particular denominator now similarly here for the second numerator you will have to multiply with root 3 minus 1 root 3 minus 1 now why root 3 minus 1 because root 3 plus 1 root 3 plus 1 is already here so we need to multiply with root 3 minus 1 so that we will get this particular denominator that's why we are multiplying this with root 3 minus 1 now you will have to use two key formulas right two key algebraic formulas a plus b the whole square is a square plus b square plus 2 ab and a minus b the whole square is a square plus b square minus 2 ab right so here it is minus and here it is plus you have to memorize this formula a plus b the whole square you need it here because root 3 plus 1 into root 3 plus 1 
so you can always do a multiplication right the normal multiplication root 3 into root 3 root 3 into 1 1 into root 3 1 into 1 you can do that or you can directly use this formulas it becomes easy if you use these formulas right this is of the form a plus b a plus b right this is of this form which is nothing but a plus b the whole square a plus b the whole square same form okay then use a square plus b square plus 2ab a square plus b square plus 2ab right now this one this is of the form a minus b a minus b right which is nothing but a minus b the whole square it is happening twice so now use this formula a square plus b square a square plus b square minus 2ab minus 2ab 2 root 3 and 2 root 3 will get cancelled you will get this 4 as the answer which is equal to rhs so you start with lhs here you take this lhs lhs is tan 75 plus cot 75 take this as lhs this is lhs and this is rhs right take the lhs and we will get the rhs value since lhs is equal to rhs we have proven this particular statement let's take the third one secant 15 plus cosec 15 is 2 root 6 so secant 15 what is secant secant theta is 1 by cos theta secant theta is 1 by cos theta cosecant theta is 1 by sin theta you'll have to remember this right so you can write instead of secant theta you can write 1 by cos 15 right and instead of cosec 15 you can write 1 by sin 15 we already obtained the values of cos 15 and sin 15 earlier just substitute before sub take this as lhs right this is the lhs and this is the rhs so you take the lhs substitute secant 15 as 1 by cos 15 cosec 15 as 1 by sin 15 we have already obtained the cos 15 and sin 15 values substitute here right you have double denominator here right here you have two divide by's right year one and year one two divide by's so therefore you have to take reciprocal of this right you have to push this on top so it will become two by root two by root three plus one and into one one is already there right into one basically you are pushing this to the numerator pushing this to the numerator so you get this now you simplify you get two root six which is the rhs hence this entire statement is proved now similarly now how do we find the value of 105 degrees right sin 105 cos 105 tan 105 here also we will take sin 105 as 60 plus 45 60 plus 45 is 105 so then we will use sin a plus b formula sin a cos b plus cos a sin b substitute the values and you will get root 3 plus 1 by 2 root 2 for sin 105 similarly for cos 105 we will use cos a plus b formula cos a cos b minus sin a sin b and you will get this for tan 105 simple again use the uh, tan a plus b formula and you will get the value alternatively Alternatively, you can uh, use this formula tan theta is equal to sin theta by cos theta and verify the answer right don't use this method to solve but this is only to verify the answer let's go through another problem where if secant a is 17 by 8 cosec b is 5 by 4 find secant a plus b and cosecant a minus b and a and b are acute angles acute angle means less than 90 degree so angle a and angle b are less than 90 degree secant a plus b right we don't know the formula for secant a plus b secant a minus b right we just know the compound formula for sin a plus b and uh, cos a plus b we don't know secant a plus b so what we will do instead of writing secant a plus b we can write it as 1 by cos a plus b because secant theta is 1 by cos theta secant theta is 1 by cos theta so instead of writing secant a plus b we'll write 1 by cos a plus b and now we know cos a plus b formula cos a plus b is cos a cos b minus sin a sin b so cos cos values are on one side sin values are on one side and the sin here is opposite to this one here it is plus here it will be minus now what we will do they have given secant a is 17 by 8 that is secant a is 1 by cos a and uh, secant a is 17 by 8 1 by cos a is 17 by 8 which means cos a would be reciprocal right cos a would be reciprocal which is 8 by 17 similarly cosec b cosec b is 1 by sin b right cosec b is given as 5 by 4 it's given as 5 by 4 so 5 by 4 is 1 by sin b therefore sin b would be reciprocal of this sin b is 4 by 5 now we know the values of cos a and sin b we know the values of we know the values of cos a and sin b we also need to know cos b and sin a we don't know how do we find out we have this formula right very important formula right cos square a plus sin square a is 1 cos square a plus sin square a is 1 
which is nothing but sin square a is equal to 1 minus cos square a. So basically sin square a is 1 minus cos square a. Therefore sin a is root of 1 minus cos square a. Now we know the value of cos a. We just found out cos a value 8 by 17. We put this 8 by 17 here, substitute it here and then on simplifying we will get sin a as 5 by 7, 15 by 17. We found sin a now. We need to find cos b. Cos b is again cos b using the same formula. Cos b would be 1 minus sin square b. Right? Cos square b would be 1 minus sin square b. So we have the value of sin b. Right? Sin b is 4 by 5. So we will substitute this value sin b value and on simplifying you will get cos b is 3 by 5. So now we have cos b also. We know cos b also. Now substitute all of these values and then we will get secant a plus b. So we are substituting all of the values. We will get secant a plus b which is minus 85 by 36. The next one is cosecant a minus b. Right? Again, what is cosecant? 1 by sin. 1 by cosecant theta is 1 by sin theta. So we will write it as 1 by sin a minus b. Cosecant a minus b is 1 by sin of a minus b. Now we will use sin a minus b formula. What is sin a minus b formula? Sin a cos b minus cos a sin b. Remember this minus sign. Same minus sign will be here. Now, now substitute. We have all these values, right? Sin a cos b cos a sin b. Substitute and you will get 85 by 13 as the answer. Now let us go to the 12th problem. If tan alpha is n by n plus 1 and tan beta is 1 by 2 n plus 1, show that alpha plus beta is pi by 4. Pi by 4 is nothing but, remember pi is 180 degree, right? Pi is 180 degree. So pi by 4 will be 180 by 4 which is 45 degree. Now here we will use tan alpha plus beta formula that is tan a plus b formula will use. Tan a plus b formula will use because we need to get alpha plus beta which is nothing but a plus b, right? So tan a plus b formula is tan alpha plus tan beta by 1 minus tan alpha into tan beta. We will have to use this formula. Then substitute each of this. Tan alpha is n by n plus 1. Tan beta is 1 by 2 n plus 1. Right? Then 1 minus. We will substitute all of this. Right? We will simplify. We will expand this. Expand these values. Basically, you have to find the LCM here. Right? LCM is n plus 1 and 2 n plus 1. This is the LCM. So, you will have to multiply this numerator with 2 n plus 1. Why? Because you already have n plus 1 here. You need 2 n plus 1 to get the denominator. So, you will have to multiply with 2 n plus 1. Similarly, here you have 2 n plus 1. You need to multiply with n plus 1. Right? You will expand this and you will get this expression. Now, what, what you will see is both of these will get cancelled. Right? Both of these will get cancelled and it will become 1. Right? Now, tan alpha plus beta is 1. Now, tan 45 is also 1. Right? Tan 45 degree is 1. Now, alpha plus beta, tan alpha plus beta is 1. Tan 45 is 1. So, what do you infer from here? What do you infer from here? You infer that this alpha plus beta must be 45 degree. Alpha plus beta must be 45 degree. That is why the value is 1. Right? So, you infer. So, you infer that alpha plus beta is 45 degree. And what is 45 degree? 45 degree is pi by 4. Hence, we have proven that alpha plus beta is pi by 4 which is 45 degree. Let us go to the 13th sum. We will have to prove that cos 2a by secant a plus sin 2a by cosec a is equal to cos a. Now, same thing. We will use the secant and cosec formula. Secant a is 1 by cos a. Cosecant a is 1 by sin a. So, we will have to always remember these four things, right? What is sin, what is cos, what is secant, what is tan, what is cot, right? We will have to remember all those uh, uh, trigonometric uh, functions. Uh, so, let us take LHS because we will have to prove. So, we will take this as, let this be LHS and let this be RHS. So, let us take the LHS part. LHS is this part, right? Let us take this part. Instead of secant a, Instead of secant a, we will write 1 by cos a. And instead of cosecant a, we will write 1 by sin a. See, why we are doing all of this is because we need to get cos a. We need to get cos a on the right hand side. So, we do not want secant and cosecant. So, we will re let us represent secant as in terms of cos and cosec as in terms of sin. So, now this will get pushed to the numerator, right? 1 by cos a will become into cos a by 1. Into cos a by 1. And similarly, sin 2a into sin a by 1. Right? Basically, it will become reciprocal when you move this to the top. It will become reciprocal. Now, you observe this. Right? This is of the form, this one. Right? Cos A cos B plus sin A sin B. Cos A cos B plus sin A sin B. You have cos on one side, sin on one side. So, so you can remember, this is a cos formula. So, it is cos A minus B. Right? Here it is plus. Right? So, it will be cos A minus B. 
So what is A here? Instead of A, we have 2A and instead of B, we have A. So 2A minus A. So this is like A and this is like B, right? This is also A and this is B. So 2A, instead of A, we have 2A. 2A minus A, 2A minus A, cos 2A minus A, which is nothing but cos A, cos A, which is equal to right hand side, okay? cos A. So we have proven this particular statement. Let's go to the 15th sum. We need to prove that cos a plus pi by 4 is 1 by root 2 of cos a minus a, sin a. This is very simple, right? Pi by 4, pi is 180 degree, right? Pi is 180 degree, pi by 4 is 180 by 4, which is 45 degree. So now we'll expand this, we'll expand this. Cos a plus pi by 4, we'll use cos a plus b formula, cos a cos b minus sin a sin b. We'll use this formula and cos pi by 4 is 45 degree, cos 45 is 1 by root 2. Right, cos 45 is 1 by root 2, substitute it and then take 1 by root 2 common as common factor. So, you'll be left with cos a minus sin a, which is equal to RHS. Let's go to 16 sum. Prove that cos pi by 6 plus a into cos pi by 6 minus a, all of this, prove this entire statement is equal to half. Right, now let's take this entire thing as LHS, as LHS and this half as RHS. Now, we'll start with LHS. LHS is, we'll copy the entire thing, expression. Now, you notice this, this is, there is pi by 6 plus a pi by 6 minus a, pi by 6 plus a, pi by 6 minus a. So, you can you can visualize as visualize this as a. This entire thing is a. This entire thing is b. Again, this entire thing is a. This entire thing is b. Now, you will see that you will get cos a cos b minus sin a sin b. Now, this is nothing but cos a plus b formula. Cos a plus b. Because cos on one side, so sin on the other side with a negative sign. So, it is going to be cos a plus b. Now, if this is cos a plus b, then what is a? What do we have instead of a? We have pi by 6 plus a pi by 6 plus a and what do we have instead of b we have pi by 6 minus a pi by 6 minus a so now we'll write it as cos a plus b that is pi by 6 plus a plus pi by 6 minus a a and a will get cancelled you'll get cos 2 pi by 6 2 pi by 6 so 2 and 6 will get cancelled you'll get pi by 3 cos pi by 3 what is cos pi by 3 nothing but 180 by 3 pi is 180 so 180 by 3 which is cos 60 cos 60 is half cos 60 is half and that is what is the rhs and that is what we have rhs is nothing but half so, hence we have proved the statement. With this, we have come to the end of this particular topic. We will work out few more problems in the next video. Hope this video was useful. Thanks for watching.